Deep breathing is essential for efficient blood oxygen exchange, for sustained energy release, proper organ function, restful sleep, and stress management. We deepen the breath by contracting the diaphragm and expanding the ribcage. When the respiratory muscles that assist in inhalation get tight, they restrict the expansion of the ribcage. In this yoga practice, we focus on deepening the inhalation by releasing tension in the respiratory musculature through movement and by exercising the diaphragm via deep diaphragmatic breathing with slight hold after the inhalation. I'm Olga Cable, yoga teacher and yoga therapist. Let's begin. We will begin the practice in a comfortable seated position of your choice. So take a moment now to get settled on the floor, on the block, or in a chair. Whatever feels more appropriate for you right now. Make sure that your spine feels long. Close your eyes. Bring your attention to your breath. Take a few moments now to observe your breathing pattern. Notice if it feels easy for you to inhale and exhale, or if there's any sort of restriction. Notice the expansion of your rib cage. Notice if you feel movement at the front, the sides, and the back of your rib cage when you breathe. Little by little begin to deepen your inhalation and lengthen your exhalation without forcing anything. Let's take the inhalation to about six seconds and exhalation to about six as well. And as you continue to breathe like that, let's add the arm movement to that. So next time when you inhale for about six seconds, sweep your arms out and up, reaching up high. And as you exhale for about six, bring your arms out and down. And do that again. Nice deep breath, sweeping your arms up, reaching up high. And as you exhale, bring the arms down. From here, go ahead and transition onto your hands and knees. And then stand up on your knees. With the inhalation, sweep your arms up, reach up high. And with the exhalation, gradually contract the abdomen as you move down, bringing your hands to your lower back, chest to the thighs, and forehead down. With the next inhalation, lead with the chest, sweeping the arms as you go all the way up, standing on your knees. Stay here and exhale, contracting your abdomen. Take a full deep breath in, reaching up through the fingertips. And with the exhalation, move down, chest to the thighs, hands to your lower back, forehead down. Let's do that again. On the inhale, lead with the chest, sweep the arms as you go up on your knees. Stay here and exhale, contracting the abdomen. With the inhalation, reach up a little bit higher, lengthen from the knees upwards into the fingertips. And as you exhale, move down, chest toward your thighs. Let's do this whole cycle one more time. On the inhale, go up, sweep the arms. Exhale here. Nice deep inhalation here, reach up a little higher. And with the exhalation, move all the way down. Go ahead and extend the arms forward in front of you. Come up onto your hands and knees and then transition up into standing any way you like. Step your right foot forward. Make sure that your hips are facing forward as well. Plant your back heel into the ground. Next time when you inhale, bend your front knee, raising both arms forward and up. Reach up high. 
Stay here. With the exhalation, contract the abdomen and pull your elbows down through the sides. Neck is long. On the inhale, extend the arms back up, lengthening through your torso. And with the exhalation, bring the arms down and straighten your front leg. Let's do that again. On the inhale, bend your front knee and raise your arms forward and up. Exhale here, contract the abdomen and pull the elbows down through the sides. On the inhale, extend the arms up, full deep breath, lengthening. And as you exhale, come out, straightening the front leg. Let's do this one more time. On the inhale, move into the pose, raising the arms. Exhale, contract the abdomen and pull the elbows down. On the inhale, extend the arms up. Stay here. With the exhalation, gradually contract the abdomen, planting your back heel firmly into the ground. And with the inhalation, continue to lengthen your torso, lifting your rib cage up away from your hips. Make sure that your neck stays long. Continue to breathe like that. Make your inhalation at least six seconds and exhalation at least six seconds as well. Longer if you can. And focus on the length here instead of bending back. Next time when you inhale, try to do it for about six seconds or longer, lengthening your spine. And then hold the breath in for just a moment. And then slowly exhale. And do it one more time. Full deep breath, expanding your ribcage and lengthening your spine. Hold it like that for a moment. And with the exhalation, come out, lowering your arms. Let's switch sides, stepping your left foot forward and your right foot back. Once again, make sure that the hips are facing forward. Next time, when you inhale, bend your front knee, raising your arms forward and up. Stay there. As you exhale, contract the abdomen, bend the elbows and pull them down through the sides. On the inhale, extend the arms back up, lengthen your torso, back heel is planted, and exhale, come out of the pose. Again, inhale, bend your front knee, raise the arms. Exhale, contract the abdomen, pull the elbows down, shoulders away from the ears. Full deep breath in as you raise the arms up, create length. And exhale, come out. Again, inhale, bend your knee, raise the arms. Exhale, engage the abdomen, pull the elbows down. Inhale, raise your arms back up and we'll stay here. With the exhalation, continue to re-engage the abdomen, creating support, pressing your back heel down. Every time you inhale, lengthen your spine, lifting the ribcage away from your hips. Continue to breathe like that, keeping your inhalation at least sec six seconds and exhalation at least six. Every time you inhale, lengthen your spine and expand your ribcage. And then pause, hold the air in for a couple of seconds at the top. And with the exhalation, deflate. And let's do that again. As you inhale, fill up, expand the ribcage, lengthen your torso. And hold it like that for a couple of seconds. Then with the exhalation, deflate. Again, inhale, fill up, lengthen, hold it, and as you exhale, come out of the pose, lowering your arms. Turn so that your feet are parallel to each other and wide apart. With the inhalation, sweep your arms out and up, reach up high, and as you exhale, gradually contract the abdomen, bending forward and placing your hands on your ankles. With the next inhalation, bend the knees, pulling them out to the sides and lift the chest, flattening your back. And with the exhalation, straighten the legs best you can and bend forward, relaxing your neck. Let's do that a few more times. Full deep breath as you bend the knees and pull them aside, apart, lifting the chest. And with the exhalation, bending forward, extending your legs. Do that two more times on your own, please, following the natural rhythm of your breath.
And then next time when you bend forward, stay there. Place your hands on the floor and turn them so that the fingertips are pointing back. And then little by little walk your hands back as far back as you can. Keep your neck relaxed. Take a deep breath here. And with the exhalation, slowly bend the elbows to about 90 degree angle or something like that. So that your upper back is rounded. Tuck the chin in. And stay in this position here. Every time you inhale, expand your upper back. And every time you exhale, contract the abdomen and curl your upper body a little bit more. Continue to breathe like that, creating space in your upper middle back with your breath. Whenever you finish your current cycle, little by little walk your hands forward again. Press your feet firmly into the ground. Bring your arms out to the sides. Lead with the chest and go up into standing. And lower your arms. Move your feet a little bit closer together. Not too much. And bring your arms out to the sides. With the next exhalation, bend sideways, bringing your right hand down to your right leg and look down. And on the inhale, go back up, arms out. On the exhale, bend sideways the other way. Left hand to your left leg, looking down to your left. And inhale, back up. And again, right hand goes down to your right leg and take your left arm over your head this time. Inhale, back up, arms out. Exhale, bend to your left. Left hand to your left leg, right arm goes over. And inhale, go up. Next time with the exhalation, bend down to your right, placing your right hand on your leg, left arm over the head. Inhale here, and then as you exhale, bend your left elbow and pull it toward your left hip, lifting your upper body slightly, just enough to shorten the left side of the body. On the inhale, bring your left arm over the head again and stretch from your left hip into the fingertips. As you exhale again, pull your left elbow towards your left hip and shorten the left side of the body, lifting out of the pose just a tad. And on the inhale, bring your arm over again, stretching through the left side. Let's do that again. Contract your abdomen as you exhale. Pull your left elbow towards your left hip. And on the inhale, bring your left arm over. And this time we'll stay here. Look down towards your right foot. Every time you inhale, imagine lengthening through the left side of the body, filling it up with air. And every time you exhale, gradually contract the abdomen to create stability for the entire pose. And again, inhale, lengthen. And exhale, create stability in your abdomen. Continue to breathe like that. Try to make your inhalation at least six seconds long or longer if you can. Focus on lengthening through the left side of the body. Next time when you inhale, focus on expanding the left side of the rib cage. Then hold the air in for a couple of seconds, maintaining that expansion. And then slowly deflate, contracting your abdomen. Let's do it again. Inhale, inflating the left side of the torso. Then hold the air in, maintain that expansion. And exhale here, contracting the abdomen. With the next inhalation, come up, bringing the arms out to the sides. And as you exhale, let's take it to the other side, bringing your left hand down to your left leg and bring your top arm, your right arm over the head. With the inhalation, lengthen through the right side of the body. And as you exhale, contract the abdomen, pull your right elbow toward your right hip and shorten the right side a little bit. On the inhale, bring the right arm over again and stretch through the right side of the body. And on the exhale again, pull the right elbow toward your right hip and the right side of the rib cage toward the right hip. And on the inhale, take your right arm over. Do that two more times on your own. Make sure that you stay in one plane 
without leaning forward or turning the body. With the next inhalation, bring the arm over the head. Stay here. Make sure that your feet are firmly planted. Direct your breathing into the right side of the body. Every time you inhale, try to create a little bit more length, space between your right hip and the right shoulder. Every time you inhale, think of expanding the right side of the rib cage. And let's add subtle pauses here. So inhale for about six seconds or longer, expanding the right side of the rib cage, and then hold that expansion for a couple of seconds, and then slowly exhale. And do that again. Lengthen through the right side of the body, fill it up, hold it in, and then slowly exhale. With the next inhalation, come into the upright position. Bring your arms down. Close your eyes for a moment. Stay here. Take a few nice deep breaths. And focus on expanding your ribcage outwards on both sides with every inhalation. And from here, transition down onto your knees. So you're standing on your knees. With the inhalation, sweep your arms out and up, reach up high. And with the exhalation, gradually move down, placing your chest over your thighs, hands to the lower back, back toward, butt toward the heels. With the inhalation, go back up, sweeping your arms out and up. Stay here, and as you exhale, turn to your right, looking back, bringing your arms out to the sides. Inhale, return back to the center, arms go up. And exhale, turn to your left, looking back, arms out to the sides. Inhale, return back to the center, reach up high. And with the exhalation, move all the way down, chest to your thighs, hands to the lower back. And let's do that again on the inhale, lead with the chest as you go up, reach up high. Exhale, contract the abdomen and turn to your right, arms out, look back. Inhale, back to the center, arms up. Exhale, turn to your left, arms out, look back. Inhale, back to the center, arms up. And exhale, go all the way down, chest toward your thighs. Go through this entire cycle one more time on your own, please. Follow the natural rhythm of your breath. Whenever you finish with that, come up onto your hands and knees and lay down on your stomach. Place your hands on your lower back and put your feet together. Just listen to me for a moment. Next time when you inhale, we're going to lift the chest and both legs, sweeping your arms out and forward and moving your legs apart at the same time. And with the exhalation, we'll return into this starting position. Make sure that you continue to move with your breath. So next time when you inhale, lift everything up, moving your feet apart and sweeping your arms out and forward. And with the exhalation, come back down, hands to your lower back, feet together. And again, inhale, lift, legs apart, arms out and forward, chest lifts up. And exhale, everything down. Do that two more times on your own. Feet apart, arms forward. And when you finish with that, move your feet wide apart. Put your forearms on the floor. Next time when you inhale, slowly lift your chest up. And we'll stay here in the pose for a few breaths. Keep your feet wide apart and anchored. Hips are planted as well, equally on both sides. Continue to breathe deeply. 
Every time you inhale, think of expanding the front of your ribcage. And then the next breath cycle, add a little bit of a pause after the inhalation. So as you inhale, expand the front of the ribcage. Then hold the air in for a breath or for a second or two. And then slowly exhale. And do it again. Full deep breath in. Hold the expansion for a couple of seconds. And then exhale. Again on the inhale, fill up. Expand the front of the body. Hold it for a couple of seconds. And with the exhalation, move all the way down. Roll onto your back. Bend your knees, take a breath or two here, feet on the floor. And then hug your knees to the chest. Extend your arms along the body. Next time when you inhale, bring your right arm over your head and extend your left leg up toward the ceiling. And with the exhalation, bend the knee and lower the arm. Same on the other side. On the inhale, extend your left arm as you straighten your right leg up toward the ceiling. And exhale back to the center. Again, right arm, left leg. The back of the neck is long. And back to the center. And same on the other side. Put your feet down. Straighten your legs down. With the inhalation, bring both arms over your head. And take a couple of breaths here. Every time you inhale, stretch from the toes into the fingertips, lengthening through the entire body. Take a couple more breaths like that. Creating nice length from top to bottom. When you finish with that, bring your left arm down, please. Make sure that your butt cheeks stay on the floor. And then from here, go ahead and move your, both of your legs to your left. Without turning, we're starting to form like a crescent shape. Make sure that your butt cheeks are still on the ground. And then move your upper body to your left as well. Keep your right arm extended overhead. Turn your left hand. Turn your head to your left. So now you, the right side of the body should feel longer than the left side. But make sure that your right butt cheek is still on the ground. And now direct your breathing into the right side. Every time you inhale, create a little bit more length there, a little bit more space. And exhale, deflate and relax. Continue to breathe like that. Make sure that your inhalation is at least six seconds long. Same with exhale. Continue to expand your rib cage on the right side every time you inhale. And then add a subtle pause after the inhalation. So inhale for at least six seconds, expanding the right side of the ribcage. Then linger there for a second or two, feeling that space. And then slowly exhale. And take two more breaths like that. Whenever you finish with your current breath cycle, little by little return your body back to the center. Bring your arm down. Close your eyes and take a breath or two here. Compare the sensations on the right and the left side of the body. See if there's any difference. And 
now we'll take it to the other side. So as you inhale, raise your left arm up, please. Make sure that your butt stays on the ground and then little by little move both legs to your right. And then your upper body to the right as well. Keeping your arm by your ear if it feels okay. Check and make sure that your left butt cheek remains on the ground. Turn your head to your right. And direct your attention and your breath into the left side of the body this time. Every time you inhale, create space and length. Every time you exhale, relax. Make sure that your inhale and exhale are at least six seconds long or longer if it's comfortable. And then begin to add a two second in a pause after the inhalation. Continue to emphasize the expansion of the ribcage on the left side. you had enough of that, return back to the center, bring your left arm down. Close your eyes and take a few nice deep breaths here. Once again, comparing the sensations on the right and the left side of the body. Then little by little bend your knees. Roll onto your side and transition into the seated position. Extend your legs in front of you, but keep the knees generously bent. With the inhalation, raise your arms up, please. And with the exhalation, slowly bend forward, sweeping your arms out and back, placing them on the lower back. With the inhalation, lead with the chest, sweeping your arms out and up, reach up high. And with the exhalation, again, gradually, Bend forward, sweeping your arms out and back, placing them on the lower back. Let's do that a couple more times. Full deep breathing. Inhale up, leading with the chest. And exhale down, draping your body over your thighs. Inhale back up. And exhale back down. Place your chest over your thighs and stay here. Relax your neck. Wrap your arms around your thighs comfortably. Direct your attention and your breath into your upper middle back. Continue to breathe deeply, at least six second inhalation and six second exhalation. Every time you inhale, imagine creating space in the upper and middle back. Filling it up with your breath. Continue to breathe like that and add a two second pause after the inhalation. So every time you inhale, fill up your back, so to speak, and then hold the air in for a couple of seconds, feeling that space. And then slowly exhale, relaxing the body. Take two more breaths like that. And then with the next inhalation, lead with the chest and go up. Get yourself into the comfortable seated position of your choice. Close your eyes. Make sure that your spine is upright. And bring your attention to your breath.
Let's take the inhalation to about 8 seconds and the exhalation to about 8 seconds as well. And as you breathe like that, focus on expanding your ribcage through the front, sides and back every time you inhale. And every time you exhale, relax the shoulders but maintain the length of your spine. Continue to breathe like that, inhaling for eight, expanding the ribcage, the front, sides, and back. And exhale for eight, deflating, relaxing the shoulders. Take two more breaths like that. And again, inhale for about 8 seconds or so, expanding your ribcage in every direction. And then at the end, hold your breath in, maintaining that expansion. Just experience it for a moment. A few seconds, whatever is comfortable. And then slowly exhale and deflate. Continue to breathe like that. Inhale for 8, expanding your ribcage in every direction, lengthening the spine. Then maintain that expansion for a few seconds, feel its fullness, and then exhale for at least 8 seconds. Continue to breathe like that. And then drop the count all together. Just inhale comfortably. Linger for a moment if you like. And then exhale slowly. Continue to breathe like that, paying attention to how your body feels. How your breathing feels. What is the quality of your energy? You can stay here for a few more minutes, breathing comfortably, or you can rest in Shavasana if you like. Just maintain this nice, steady, deep breathing pattern. And thank you for joining me today. Namaste.